my name is Michelle Gray, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about competitive swimming. So I've actually been a competitive swimmer since I've been eight years or eight years old. And what a lot of people don't know about the sport is it's actually like really intense. So for example, for middle school and high school, I would swim every single day of the week for three hours a day, and then I would go and see a personal trainer for three or four times a week for like one or two hours at a time. And so I didn't really have a social life in high school, um, but some basic things about swimming. So there's four strokes, freestyle, backstroke, breaststroke, and butterfly. And I'll kind of show you guys like what they look like. It's going to be kind of weird though because I'm like standing up. So freestyle is like the basic one where you're doing this motion and like breathing to the side. Backstroke, you're on your back doing this type of thing. Breaststroke, you're doing this motion and butterfly is this motion and a lot of people think that butterfly is the hardest stroke because it takes the most out of you which I would agree with and swimming when you're in high school and middle school um, there's the shortest distance you can do is a 50 meter or 50 yard depending on if you're doing swimming in the summer or the winter so the summer pools are actually longer than the winter pools they're in yards instead of meters and the longest distance you can do is a 1650, which is a mile, and that's 66 laps. <laughs> and when you swim as much as I did, you kind of identify as like a distance swimmer or like a freestyler, a backstroker, um, butterflyer. So I was actually a distance freestyler, so I did the 1650 and all those fun events. Um, but basically the sport, like in high school, it was divided between the people that did it all year like me and just the people who did it as um, a sport as their like sport that they're doing in their off season um, but it's really hard to get to the level of like states or like even collegiate level unless you've been doing it your whole life um, so if you guys want to get involved in swimming here it's actually a really great workout it's one of the best workouts but um, there's a club team here and the varsity team, obviously, through the athletic department. But that's pretty much all I have to say about it for you guys. You guys have any questions about the sport? Is it true the chlorine water turns your hair green? Yeah, it can. Yeah, like, I mean, I always, like, dyed my hair. Like, my hair's always been, like, bleached. But, my like, I know people who, you, like, actually need to use, like, chlorine, like, shampoo to get the chlorine out of your hair. When I was little, we used, like, dish soap because I had blonde hair. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>